in this concert, the most famous soloist is the male humpback whale. Every year in the winter, humpback whales come to the tropical waters to give birth and reproduce. During this mating season, only the males sing. They remain completely still for long periods of time. They vocalize with their mouths shut without giving out the slightest air bubble. Are they seducing the females? Is this a contented song or a war cry? The truth is, nobody knows. In the Bahamas, Francois carries on diving, looking for dolphins. But few people realize how empty the ocean is. Apart from a few signs of life around reefs, it's a desert. And we feel very lonely. With our human senses, we don't see much and don't hear much either. The bottom of this submarine desert is oddly jotted with craters. Francois discovers dozens, making up a moonlight terrain. What singular creature dug out craters in the sand? The scarce fish we come across, pearly razorfish, won't let us approach them and immediately hide in the sand without leaving a trace behind them, not even a fine line, much less a crater. And suddenly, crackling, clicks. At first almost imperceptible, but gradually getting closer, they announce the arrival of the Terciops, dolphins. Here are the crater-digging culprits. Francoise's eyes, the dolphins perform an eerie ballet, digging into the sand to unearth the hidden razorfish. The dolphins are hunting, and they use sounds to hunt. They give out very rapid sonar pulsations towards the ground and use the echo which is sent back to them to make a sound image. This is echolocation once again. Thanks to this sixth sense which we humans do not possess, they can see beneath the surface of things. Unlike the sperm whales that can remain submerged for over one hour, the dolphins must go up to the surface to breathe every three minutes. 
endless coming and going between the surface and the seabed. Francois sees more and more dolphins arriving, as if someone had called for a meeting. He notices a strange, powerful sound. Is this the dolphin's rallying cry? Is it a call to join the feast? Impossible to find out. All these sounds given out by the dolphins and other cetaceans remain a huge mystery. try to imagine their world, but we've got no idea about their means of communication. We're unaware of their senses, and it's incredible. We don't have the vocabulary, we don't have the words to describe what they're capable of doing. We invent words, clicks, clacks, clangs, all kinds of uh, weak imitations of what they can do. And we, we try to... It, it's like if we were blind people who were trying to describe the world of those who can see. We can't even imagine. They live in another world. They're real aliens. Aliens. To understand them, we must get prepared for an encounter of a new kind. Cetaceans don't have the same needs as us. They don't have the same desires. They live in a world where space has no limit, where time flows in an everlasting present. We must abandon our references, leave our preconceived ideas behind us. We must lose ourselves in their world. Then maybe we can discover what the Titans have to say to us.